And I noticed him immediately for all the wrong reasons and felt really uncomfortable around him. And I made up in my head all these assumptions about who he was. And it was the first time that I'd ever looked at the issue of prejudice, um, exclusion, and all of those themes from actually doing it as opposed to being on the receiving end. And I thought, wow, how hard is it going to be for this young man to fulfill his potential if even people like me are judging him? And so it made me want to start a conversation around these themes, these topics that are very uncomfortable but, but we have to discuss in order to move society forward. So. The one thing about June that we all know, she does everything for everyone else. So it really was a privilege for her to ask me to do something for a change. <laughs> Love her to death. Changing attitudes is not easy to do and must come from within. But we can draw on inspiration in order to empower us to do this. As a result of my Ghanaian heritage, I've always been fascinated by mythology and the power that storytelling has to shape our image of ourselves and the world around us. I mean, can you break down the format of the book and yeah. why you decided to take that approach? Yeah, of course. Um, so I partnered with Oxford University. My parents did not want me to go to TV. My parents did this awful um, meeting where they threw in all these aunts and uncles. And and like, you know what I'm talking yeah. about, right? And we had a family meeting. And everyone was telling me how I was bringing shame on the family and that. And the only person who actually stood by me was my dad. And he said, I was going to give, said, I'll give you a year. And if this doesn't work out, you're going to university. Fortunately, it worked out. <laughs> Years later, my mother would say, oh, I said follow your dream. <laughs> Went down. So there's lots of research in the book on all the various discriminated groups, but more importantly, it looks at solutions. Because I think it's all well and good focusing on the problems, but actually what we need to do is look at solutions and how can we change things. And what can we do as individuals, but what can we also do in organisations and companies and so on. The test of our progress is not whether we add more to the abundance of those who have much, it is whether we provide enough for those who have too little. And this is the extract that June has written. June is one of my idols. And I, you know, she paved the way for people like me to do the job that I do. And to be on stage with June and now reading an extract from your book means so much to me. So thank you so much for asking me. How important do you think it is that someone like you is on a mainstream news programme? And how do you find uh, dealing with people who may be very nice personally, but clearly have very different views to you? I think if you can understand where somebody's coming from in terms of where they were raised, who they were raised around, then you can address them in a non-judgmental way. And then also you understand how to actually debate the, their argument. I'm so proud I'm watching you and we need a lot of role models and especially girls. I want girls to see other girls doing it and people like you should always try to stay in the limelight because they have to see you and become aware that there are people making it. I want to thank you on behalf of all of the Ghanaian women here and their cousins and all <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.